Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Yay! So for today's reading, we're doing what is surprising people about your current life. And we have here three beautiful pals. Pal number one with my AirPods. Pal number two with the brush. And pal number three with the lighter. So please pause the video if needed. Let's go. So for my viewers, I picked pal number one with the AirPods. Let's find out. What are people surprised? What is surprising people about your current life? Let's get to this reading. Scorpio, water signs, Libra, Aquarius here watching. What's up? What up? What up? What up? All right. Everybody's ready for the new year. The new year. Um, let me tell y'all something. A lot of people are not coming with me to the new year. It's crazy. It's looking like it's me and my friends from YouTube going into the 2024. Let's see here. Six of Pentacles with Six of Swords. The Chariot. Okay. This is a message for somebody. It might not relate to everybody, but this is going to relate to somebody. What's surprising a lot of people about your current life is that maybe you were hurt by your family. Maybe you grew up in a very toxic, crazy household, but you're still there for your family. You still help your family. You still show love to your family, even though you are not in a good place or they didn't treat you the best. And I feel like that's very admirable from the people watching you, okay, in your own current life. Um, it surprises people if you have left a city or a current town or a current job. Maybe you built a business from scratch and maybe you realized that you didn't really like that. Um, don't, again, I don't want to get into too much details, but you know, guys, sometimes we get into businesses and we just end up not liking it and it's okay. All right. The worst is to keep going because you feel like you're chained to it. All right. Um, so that's another message for somebody. It's very surprising for people, the career choice. Because maybe growing up, you were like, you wanted to be something. Like you you wanted to be a, a lawyer, a lawyer, a lawyer. You told everybody you wanted to be a lawyer. You went to law school. And then you ended up being a writer. That's an example. Okay? Um, I feel like that surprises people. It also surprises people how jolly you might be. I feel like a lot of you guys, you go through life with like an ease or like a peace. When people know that your life may not always have been in peace. You know what I mean? I see issues in the household. Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. Mind you, I didn't even see this one. Um, a lot of problems in the childhood. Someone not being accepted for who they are as a child. Whether it was your sexuality, your creativity. There was a lack of something in the home. But it kind of never broke you. It never really broke you. All right, maybe it did some damage in the beginning. Maybe you were addicted to things. But it's like it never damaged you to the point that you became a monster or even, you know, forgot about yourself. Uh, people are surprised that you divorced somebody or, like, left a husband or a wife. People are very surprised because maybe you, you made it seem like you and that person were fine. Maybe you made it seem as if there was nothing wrong in yours relationship. So... When you called it quits, baby, it surprised a lot of people. And I really do admire those people that when they have relationship issues, they keep it to themselves because they know that, you know, they might forgive their partner, whatever, whatever. Um, I really do respect those individuals because it's just so hard to keep things to yourself, especially when you're mad at a partner. Okay, so seven of swords in the reverse, calling my name, calling my name. You've been very used and abused. But you keep going. It's like nobody can put you down. Um, I feel like this is why you're so successful. If you are. But if you're not yet, you will be because of your heart. Because of all that you've been sowing. Although they've been hammering you down like a nail, you will elevate. Okay, pile number one. So don't, don't think about the past. Don't think about what you should have, could have. What should have never happened? You know, it was all to build that character. And I know it's so big. It's, it's messed up for some people here watching that. I know they didn't deserve what they went through. But one of the parts of healing that I also had to recognize is accepting what had happened. Accepting that maybe our mom didn't love us the way that, you know, we deserved it. Our father wasn't there. 
um, you know, the way our family treated us, all of that. But what's important is rebuilding that story for yourself, rebuilding that love that you never received, okay? Three of Swords in the reverse next to the Fool. I feel like your attitude on life is just very surprising. It's because, yo, you should you should be very bitter. For all you've been through, you should be a very bitter king, very bitter queen, okay? Let's get here more details as to what is surprising people about my pal number one. You're very giving for somebody that has not received the most. Um, I hear somebody say, I give and give and give and what about me? Yeah. People are surprised the way you have so much kindness for those that weren't even there for you. Kindness for people that destroyed you. Listen, you could have had a narcissistic partner for 20 plus years, 10 years, whatever. This is a message for somebody. And you can still get along with that person even if they ruined your life. That takes a lot of strength. That takes a lot of willpower. Okay? I feel like a lot of people are surprised by your maturity and your wisdom. People are also surprised that maybe you moved on in your life. Maybe you got a new partner now. Maybe you got remarried or something. Maybe you met somebody new, somebody that really likes you. Um, I'm picking out the old skin. I don't know why I feel like... Um, I don't know, guys. My skin be dry and it just be peeling out of nowhere. Um, a lot of you guys have shed old skin. I feel like someone that doesn't react to things the same way they used to. I feel like you're silently leaving situations. I feel like you know how to stand up for yourself now. You know how to maneuver through people. And it can be very surprising. Because people want to know, where the hell did you learn all this stuff? Where did you learn how to act like this? Where did you learn how to place boundaries? Where did you learn how to take care of yourself so much? While also reaching the things that you want in life. Okay? People are really surprised by this energy of you wanting to always move forward in your life or always improve yourself. I think it's very hard for people to see you down. I feel like I've people have seen people put you down. People have seen things not go in your favor. But it's like people really never got to see you act in the way that and the like through the things that you've been through you don't even look like the things you've been through with the fool people are very surprised you look very young for your age you look very put together you look like you take care of yourself very well or you know you kind of spoil yourself or you know you like the the, the nicer things or you just take care of yourself so a lot of people are surprised by that let's see here What is surprising people about my pal's current life? People are surprised that people from your past still want to come in towards you. People are also surprised that you're really well-known or well-respected. I think, you know, other than you being treated like shit, maybe the, the first part of your life, I do think that a lot of people do like you. A lot of people do find you to be someone very respectful, someone very kind-hearted, very genuine. And I feel like overall, people really do like you. It really surprises people how you were able to monetize in some sort of goal or dream or even monetize in something like a business or even like in a career field. People are also surprised by your humbleness, I, like your total attitude. I have this feeling that maybe you did not grow up around the nicest people or even the best people. Maybe your family has a really bad reputation for being evil or um, evil spirited or even very nasty. Um, but you kind of are the black sheep in a way where you're very different from those around you. You're not like the your family or those you grew up with. And then I think that's very surprising about your current life. That maybe you didn't settle. Maybe you didn't settle to be angry or mad. I hear angry man in the house, angry woman in the house. Maybe you didn't turn into that angry woman in your house. Okay. Um, that's really, really cool. 
if anybody has grown up with an angry person in their house, you you always know that the angry person never leaves. You either, you know, that, that angry person either becomes your spouse or it becomes you. Okay? Unfortunately. Um, so, someone in the, is angry, loud, somebody here. But maybe you didn't take that with you. Or maybe that is you, but you've been learning to work on that. And people are surprised about that. People are surprised that you're very talented in something, whether it's communication or something that has to do with um, advocating for something, whether it's a, a charity, a nonprofit, or even like a channel where you help others. You went through a lot of mental abuse, I can say here. And it just surprises people with how lighthearted you are. Too lighthearted for someone that's been through the things you've been through. Yo, pile number one, this is sad. I'm so sorry. I didn't really mean for this reading to be sad. But I don't want it to end sad. I want it, I want to end it by me telling you that I'm so proud of you. You came a long way, okay? You are so strong. And just know that even if people won't ever tell you that, everybody knows. Everyone knows. Okay? So hopefully that could do something for you that... Everybody knows, but nobody will ever say it out loud. It's one of those things that you think through, but you will never stay. Maybe because you're scared of judgment. Okay? And sometimes people just don't like to admit that they're wrong. That's the truth of it. Okay? But people are also surprised by your financial stability. Maybe you could be very young with a lot of financial stability, or you could be an older person, but... It surprises people that you have so much financial stability because maybe the people around you never really had that. Maybe they never would would able they would never be able to maintain that at maybe your age or even at that extent. Okay? So there's a lot of independence here, a lot of admiration, but also a lot of heartbreak. Maybe you've experienced heartbreak and you've been healing it, but I'm gonna tell you a little secret in this pile. A lot of people are heartbroken about your situation, but they're not willing to say nothing about it. And another thing is that what surprises them is that how come you're not? How come you're not stuck on that? Because they'll be. Okay? So that's all that I'm getting here. Thank you so much for clicking on this reading. Bye, guys. So for the viewers that picked problem number two with the brush, let's find out what is surprising people about your character. It could be that, you know, maybe you've experienced a glow up or you are not really taking care of yourself. Maybe after a breakup, a friendship breakup, uh, whatever. I don't know. Somebody here had like a, I don't know, like somebody woke up. He was like, listen, it's about time I put myself first. It's about time I get ready. It's about time I pluck the eyebrows. It's about time I get a haircut. You know, somebody kind of like woke up to something and I feel like it's surprising people about your current life. Uh, maybe people in your current life, um, well, no, people that that are watching your current life, um, maybe they felt like, you know, maybe you weren't going to make a lot of changes on your looks or anything like that. Or you were just going to have the same old look. But something about you was just very surprising about, like, the looks department. Not going to lie. Um, I know the looks are, like, a bunch of artificial things to people, you know, because at the end of the day, we're going to die. Our worms are going to eat our body. But it's really nice to feel confident inside and out. Okay, I always say that. Um, it, it works wonders. Um, and it's just, it makes you achieve anything. All right, so shout out to anybody working on themselves or working on anything for the next year, okay? You can never go wrong with improving yourself. You can never go wrong in investing your, in yourself, okay? Um, if you don't invest yourself in, in yourself now, when will you? When will you? Um, I, I be telling people money comes and goes. But age, don't go back. So, you know, and if you're older watching this, again, take care of yourself because if you don't, then who will? And plus, I, I don't know, man. There's something about older people being put together and stylish for me. You know, it's, it's very inspirational. Like, wow, I'm going to be like that. You know what I mean? I'm going to be like that. So even if you're older watching it, I don't care if you have five kids, put yourself together.
put something nice on, go do something nice for yourself. You know what I mean? But honestly, I think something surprising about that. Maybe you had a cruel baby father, baby mother. Maybe they made fun of your looks, made you feel bad about yourself. And now they're surprised that you're taking care of yourself. Ah. Let's see here. What's surprising people about my pals? It's surprising people that you left a current bum in your life and now you're up to better. Whether it's loving on yourself, now you have options. The star, definitely a glow up. Definitely a glow up here. Six of wands. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ace of wands. Nine of swords in the reverse. The two of cups. So what's surprising people right now is that maybe somebody that you held on to for dear life. Maybe you, you spent years trying to break up with this person, but it could just, it could never happen. You could just never break up with this one individual, but you finally did. And it's surprising the heck out of people. Um, and if not, that doesn't mean that maybe you left somebody that was really bad for you. And now you've been in a very stable, long-term connection with somebody else. And that's surprising people. Um, Somebody here can be in the public eye. If you're not, you're just well-liked, Okay. Um, people are very surprised about that. If you're in the public eye, whoa, whoa, whoa. Um, you have a lot of character too. You have a lot of personality, power number two. A lot of personality. But it's like now you got the looks. Now you got the personality. Now you got the career. God damn. And listen, and you're like, Jaylene, I don't have no damn career. You got the damn respect. You got people watching you. You, want, you got people, a lot of people wondering what's going on with you. What's happening with you? Uh, how did you get what you got? What did you do to get that? You know what I mean? Like, there's a lot of questions here. People are just very surprised that you trusted your intuition on something. Because maybe it, it wasn't what it seemed. Something wasn't... I don't know. I feel here somebody was dating someone that everybody thought that was going to be your person. That was going to be your person. And then you dated somebody that was completely opposite. And then now you're more happier with that other person. That people thought you guys weren't going to make it. Something like that. Okay. Or what's surprising people is that you're still single. With no kids. I don't know who needed to hear that. Somebody surprised that you're still single with no kids. And if you're in a relationship, they still they surprised that you got no kids. Okay, I don't know what, yo, 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 yo. Maybe people felt like you were going to have a kid at a very young age or you were going to be the first one to have a kid or something like that. And that's not the case. I'm not saying it's bad to have kids. Redirecting it. I'm not saying it's bad, but I'm just saying that maybe people felt like it was bad or like you were going to end up pregnant first or you were going to have kids first. Something of the sorts. But people are very surprised about your options in life. People are very surprised on the look that you have now. Put together, sophisticated, classy. Um, and if it ain't classy, baby, and it's a little bit sexy, it's a little bit edgy, whatever the hell it is, it looks nice, it looks good, and people are effing with it, okay? People like it. People are surprised, okay? People are surprised that you didn't go back with somebody in your past. I don't know why I heard that. Maybe you had a friend that you always go back to all the time, back, back, back. Um, yeah, somebody's surprised about that, that you probably can go back to a friend or back to a lover that you always went back to. Somebody here was in the military and people are surprised how you're not in it anymore or you quit it or something like that or that you regret it. People are surprised about that. Let's see here. What is surprising people about my problem number two's current life? Oops. We got a page of cups. I'm going to just take that. People are surprised of how um, sympathetic and funny you are. Okay, this is giving pile number one. But not so much. So people are surprised um, that even if your life changed. Like, like, listen to this. Your life has changed. Things around you have changed. Your looks have changed. You have not changed. 
you still have this like funny personality you still have like this charismatic vibe this baddie vibe you're not stuck up you're actually very kind you give to others People are surprised that you're not thinking about them. <laughs> people are surprised that you haven't hit them back up in, in you know, your current life. But people are also surprised on how you have such a good partner. Someone here has a really, really good relationship or a really, really good partner. And if you don't have that, it's coming. All right. Write down on a piece of paper all the qualities you wish your future perfect partner would have. Okay, sweetheart, that's a tip for people that are single, if you are single. But I see too many relationship cards here for somebody to be single. Okay, so again, someone here got a good man, Savannah, all right, or a good woman, whoever it is here watching. I, I heard Capricorn here. I got, I'm getting a lot of Cancer, Scorpio, water sign. People are just surprised that... Maybe you're not haunted by your past. Maybe you, maybe you were like the talk of the town. Maybe you were ridiculed a lot, bullied. Um, maybe even threatened. <laughs> and it is like now you just walk through life like that never even happened. That never even happened. I don't even know who the hell that is. I don't know who the fuck that at. That what, girl? I, I don't even know what I'm saying at this point. But listen, I could I could really relate to that. And I know I'm not gonna hit y'all with my stories. I'm not. But let me tell y'all. Nobody could remind me of my past. Because I'm gonna say who, what, when, where, who? Who the hell is that? What's that? I don't know who that is. That happened? When? I don't remember. But I mean, it would never really happen because I don't really talk to anybody in my past. And you're probably like, Jaylene, what? No, guys, I seriously do not have nobody right now that knows me from my past. No way. And I like it. Um, I don't think I would open the door of my past because I just feel like if you're not here now, then you're not meant to be here now. So why would I open that door? That shit locked. I threw the key. Bitch, I swallowed the key. All right? Um... <laughs> I don't know, man. Something about you just dead ended something in the past. You're you're just like a whole different transformed being with the with the star. I feel like overall you're somebody more confident, more like secured of yourself, and you know who you are, and you just don't look for anybody's approval at all. Maybe you were a people pleaser back in the day. Sorry, had to say it. I think someone in your life. Like, I just feel like one heartbreak, like, one friendship breakup, like, just one thing in your life, like, one disagreement, one argument led you to change your whole life. A breakup, a friendship break. Like, one little thing made you change your whole life, and it made you so much better now. It made you, like, into someone so different, so much, so much, so much. Oh, my God, you have an ex here. I know, I know, I know, I know. Jamie, why are you bringing up my ex? Girl, you messy. Um, I'm not that messy, sweetheart. They keep calling you. They wondering about you. <laughs> they see you doing good. They see you with a new partner. They can't believe it. They're like, damn, that person? It couldn't be me. Um, I feel like this person is comparing themselves to your partner. But I think that, you know, they're trying to figure out where they went wrong. What? No, actually, they know where they went wrong. Never mind. They know. Seven of Pentacles here. Um, your ex is recognizing their wrongs. And I feel like it's very surprising for them how you moved on away from them. Something about this ex thought you were going to marry them. This was your soulmate. They thought they were going to marry you. You were going to take care of them. Ah, why I said that? Was somebody going to take care of an ex here? Listen, if you're a man watching this, shout out to you. You're a good man. But ladies, I... I I don't want to think you were a pick Misha back in the day, but listen, secret is Jaylene was one. But listen, that's the past. We're not doing that, okay? So if you are watching my video right now and you're a woman watching and you're a pick Misha, if you don't know what that means, search it up. Urban Dictionary. But um, 
it's okay, sweetheart. We've been in, in, in the shackles. Um, Anybody that's been a, a pygmisha before, um, you can call for your compensation. <laughs> one eight hundred don't call that x back again that's the one right there but listen genuinely speaking here some people felt like you were gonna be with somebody for the rest of your life or you were gonna be friends with someone for a long time but i don't know i just felt like shit changes life changes you're over the bullshit you're just like listen if they messed up the opportunity when i was there what makes them think that they're not gonna mess it up now that i'm bigger i'm better i'm better and i'm smarter and i got more money you know what I mean? And plus, who wasn't there for the process shouldn't be there for the re for the rewards. Okay? If you weren't there when I was doing my worst, looking my worst, you wasn't a good friend, you weren't a good lover, why would I want you in my life now that I'm looking better, doing better, and smelling better? I don't think so. Let's see here. Um, What is surprising people from your current life right now? What is surprising people about your current life right now? What is surprising people? How you handle situations. I mean, I feel like you could have been somebody very um chaotic. Somebody that will really spark spark it up if people get you mad. You know, you would just yell at people. You would just really press people for no reason. But I feel like you don't do that unless you're disrespected. Okay, I feel like you completely change as a person. I feel like even your morals change. Even the way you speak changed. Everything changed here at the start. This is complete transformation here for my pal number two's watching here. You could be a Gemini, Scorpio, Capricorn. But I definitely see here complete transformation. You're not the same. They're not the same without you. You know what it is? If you really moved on in your life, you wouldn't be thinking about people from your past. Even if you did, well, if you did them wrong, yeah, you would think about them. But other than that, you know what's the reason to open that door in the past yeah i get what i mean but do yourself a favor just don't if you if you and a person fell out in the past it was probably for a reason and if they were really meant to be in your life they'll be there but that's all for today thank you so much for clicking on this video bye guys so for the viewers that picked pile number three with the lighter let's find out what a surprise to people about your current life and you know right away fire sign aries you know, more fire signs. You already know who you are. I need to know my zodiacs. I just be forgetting, guys, honestly. So we have fire signs here really heavily. Maybe some air as well. Definitely some air. I feel like here people are surprised on how much you stand on business. And that's my that's been my word now because standing on business is really standing on business. Maybe you've been standing on business about... I guess like a lifestyle change on getting your ish together, saving up more money, building the stream of income, um, working up the ladder at your job or even getting a new job, job hopping. You've been standing on business and that's been surprising people about your life. Maybe some of you guys quit smoking and that could also be very surprising for some about your current life. Somebody here could have gotten a new car and not told nobody. People are dead ass surprised about that. Um, people are surprised on how much you just don't disclose about yourself. That's very surprising because you could have been like an open book. You could have been very, I guess, very loud about your goals and your dreams and stuff like that. And I feel like, I don't know because of the situations around you, but life really watered you down. I'm sorry, sweetheart. It really watered you down to be like this plain old individual and around others. And listen, whoever's watching this, I hope that one day you can really be your true self, okay? And I know that we're supposed to wear these masks around other people, but that's not the way to live, all right? I feel like everybody should have people in their life where they can 100% be themselves, all right, without having to live a facade or hide who they are. So a lot of that surprising people is your mysteriousness, um, how much you hide from others, how much you just pop out at the end. Um, also, I feel like what surprises people is 
maybe how kind hearted you are as well. I feel like you're walking away from situations. I, I don't feel like you're being explosive. And if not, it could be the opposite. You could have been you could have been very explosive lately on people, places and things. And that is surprising people about your current life because maybe you weren't always like that. Maybe you didn't always stand up for yourself or like speak up about things that bothered you, but now you're doing it. Now you're walking away. Now you're acting more bitchier than ever. Okay. People are surprised on how much you work as well. Um, I don't know, maybe like in the past you were like a bit more lazier or you like to rest a lot or you just didn't like to work or do anything at all. No, no shame, no judgment here. It just means that, you know, people are surprised by your work ethic now, how much you work, how much you put out there, how much you're forcing yourself to do the thing that you're doing. I heard you're getting rid of liabilities in your life. Like you're getting rid of things and people that are not serving you and that is surprising people, even if it's family. And that's very much surprising people, the way you're cutting people off or the way you're standing up towards others. You're not disclosing things from your personal life. And I feel like that's what's very surprising. Also, a lot of maturity. I think people are finally realizing that you're growing up. And if you're older watching this, people are just realizing that the situations around you have made you change who you are. Something about dandelions. I don't know why that came up. People are surprised that you healed from some, some sort of sickness. Maybe you were sick for a while. Maybe you were going through some health issues and now you're like super better. And people are very surprised about that because maybe it was like a really like serious health concern um people could have thought that you were gonna die pile number three i don't know why that came up but you kind of survived and it's very surprising well you did survive because you're watching this <laughs> that's crazy right but um with the star here in reverse it's just i just get like this feeling of like hiding oneself one's one's true self I feel like you paint a different picture to people and it really surprises them. And I feel like a lot of people have been noticing that because they see how you interact with others that are not them. Maybe you're the type of person that you have a different way that you interact with different people, but people are seeing it. People are seeing your change in attitude with certain people and the attitude you have with them, okay? Honestly, that is the way to go because I don't feel like you should treat everybody in your life the same, especially if they don't add the same, you know? There will always be those type of people that you consider more than others. And it's nothing against who they are and how they look. It's just more of what they do for you and what they have to offer and the type of individual that they are. Okay? Because, again, a lot of people are different. What is surprising people from? What is surprising people about my pal 3's current life? What is surprising people about my pal's current life? It surprises people how you don't really get along with your family. Because people could see maybe that, oh, okay, see, now this shit getting deep. So maybe your family makes it seem like they're very, like, together, and they're so cool, and they're so fun. And then it's just, like, people wonder, but this is the thing. If these people are so cool and fun, why is this person never around them? Why is this person so against them? Why are their children not coming around? You know, so you're, you're having people question things. And, you know, that is a, that's surprising people in your current life that you're so cool, you're so lit, you're so funny, you're so fun and smart. But it's like, why you don't associate yourself with your family? Why does your family do, don't get along with you? What's going on with that? But with the Ten of Wands, I feel here that the truth is like, the shit is... The shit is floating. People are figuring things out. And I don't think that you're looking like the bad guy anymore. And that's what's surprising people about your current life. That maybe a lot of people viewed you as the bad guy in a situation. But now it's like the truth is revealing itself. Ten of Wands upright, yeah. Um, like there was a lot on you. 
Like there's a lot of messed up things that were put on you. Maybe things that they couldn't even see with the two of swords. A lot of people feel guilty for their judgment against you. That's what I'm getting here. But more than people are surprised, people are surprised because of their questions about you. There's a lot of things that they don't know about you, but there's a lot of things that they see. And believe it or not, people make their connections, pile number three. You can't be so cool and so fantastic, but none of your kids talk to you. You know what I mean? And if you're someone that's going through that right now, that maybe your kids are not talking to you, people are questioning that. And, you know, maybe people put the blame on you, but now they're starting to realize that there's something deeper to the situation. Okay? I think what's surprising people about you is, you know, how serious you you are currently. Like, you're very serious now. You're very private. I don't think it's really, like, people cannot reach out to you. Yes, Eight of Cups in Reverse. People cannot reach out to you, the hangman. People just, King of Cups in Reverse. Oh, my God. You're so closed off. I don't know. I just feel like people think that there's something deeper going on with you. Although it doesn't look like that. Because it looks like you're doing pretty well for yourself. So it's like, where is this privacy and this hidden and this hiding coming from? Where is this coming from? Where is this attitude coming from? This seriousness? You're not the same anymore. You're definitely not the same. But not when the, not like physical, mm, internal, you're not the same. And maybe you are the same, but like not everybody gets that same you anymore. What's surprising people is that you're moving away. Like you're not you're not coming around certain people or certain things or certain friends. You're not coming around. Um, some people might think that you're depressed, or some people might just think that you don't like them or you're like angry at them. But the whole time, maybe it's because of the connection that they have with someone in your life that you're not really associating with. There's been people that haven't seen you in a long time. And they, ha they have a lot of questions, pal three. And I feel like they're surprised by this because maybe you were very much of like, like an attention whore. Like maybe you liked attention or you took everyone's attention. Or when you walked in the room, you took everyone's, you know, light or even attention. So it's just very surprising that such a... You know, an individual in high demand, an individual that sparks everyone's interest, it's not really interested in that anymore. It's, it's not really interested in sparking anybody's attention. They're much more in the background, being background characters. Mm, pal three. I like how you're protecting your energy. And maybe you are right in this situation. The right people will understand you, though. So I don't really think that you have to prove much or do much. But the Empress, you're doing good for yourself. And that's surprising people. Because they will think that, well, shit, now that they're doing better for themselves, why don't I see them more often? But what people don't know that maybe that's why you're doing better. Because you're not coming around people that wish you bad. And people that don't really wish the best for you. So that's all that I'm getting here. Thank you so much for clicking on this reading. Bye, guys.